hey everybody welcome back to my channel we have got another week of what's for dinners there is a few dean dinners on here for you guys this video is special because it is a open collab with a bunch of ladies here on youtube but it was hosted by julia pacheco um, i will have her channel link in the description box below as well as the playlist link that um all the other youtubers um, it, their videos will be in that link so y'all can go over and check them out after you watch my video if you are new coming over from one of their channels welcome i hope you like what you see and stick around and subscribe um, for future videos this is pretty food is pretty much the content that i um, show on my channel with it being either grocery hauls dean dinners is what i call them because our last name is dean um, you see a few vlogs, um, lunch ideas and stuff like that. So it's pretty much food related, like I said, but I do hope you all enjoy this week's video and let's go ahead and get into it. So for this first recipe, um, as you see there in that Pyrex dish, I have got some pork chops marinating. I, I had a, um, Montreal steak seasoning packet I dumped it in there and then just followed the directions on the back of the little bag um, it said like vinegar and oil a little bit of water and I just let that marinate throughout the day and then we are mixing together um, the rice mixture this is a one dish casserole but I did end up um, pan frying the pork chops just a little bit to help lock in that flavor and seasoning on them um, so technically it wasn't a one pot for me, um, but I liked doing that better where I could add in some more flavor. So that rice mixture, um, that's just instant rice and cream of mushroom soup, as well as some water, um, the water to go along with the rice, the amount that you need, um, and then like I said, the I think it was two cans of mushroom soup. Uh, Winston helped me um, add some ingredients in. Some Worcestershire, salt and pepper to taste. You can kind of just change up the seasonings on this. Um, this is just the rice, the side dish. It's the mushroom rice that's going to go, that you're going to serve along with the pork chops. I also added in some yummy cheese. As you can see, Winston had to have a bowl. That's normally our thing. Um, he always he always has to have a bowl of cheese if i have it out while i'm cooking um so excuse him eating right there um but this is just for us so don't worry um so i'll put the rice mixture in there that is going to cook alongside um like i said with the pork chops all together um i used instant rice this time it worked way better the rice was delicious on this so good uh right now i have uh, I'm not able to eat rice, so watching this and editing it, I'm like, man, that was so good. I wish I could have that, but I'm doing good, doing low carb, so I'm proud of myself, um, <laughs> but here I'm just going to pan fry the pork chops and sit them on top, then I'm going to wrap that in foil and let it cook. It was literally like 45 minutes to an hour. You just want to make sure that um, the pork chops are fully cooked through. Um, but the rice with using the instant rice, that helps a ton on um, cook time for that. The last time I made this, I used the long grain. And y'all, it took like, it felt like two hours just to cook in the, um, the oven. So I suggest that you use the instant rice. still tastes just as good um, and it will cut down your cook time for sure.
alongside with this I made some yummy veggies um, I just used that same pan that I had um, seared the pork on and yes the pork was not completely done but I kept that pan on and let it um, cook for a while so I know that um, you know it's good and clean um, so no worries there I just added in some butter and then I'm gonna add in my carrots just let those um, kind of season move them around a little bit and then I'm gonna add in some water and um, that is gonna help one deglaze the pan and then it's gonna help cook the carrots as well um, since they are thicker I just want them we like them nice and cooked through so once they're cooked through then I will add in um, that was about a half a bag of broccoli um, and then you can just do whatever seasoning salt pepper um, I use balsamic vinegar but I just let these cook up and made sure there was, you know, not a lot of liquid in there. Maybe like a thick syrup. And the this was such a good side. Some of the footage is gone, so you don't actually see me adding the broccoli in. But y'all, this was so good. Here is the final product and like I said we loved this rice um, our opinion on the pork um, we did not care for it but we both said that if we did like chicken thighs next time doing it the same way but using chicken thighs that would make it way better um, so you can try it either way see which way you like but this was delicious for the next meal kept it basic we just had some yummy meatloaf some mashed potatoes and some green beans and I made some crescent rolls here I'm just cooking up some regular taco meat I've got a pound and a half of hamburger there um, just get it well cooked I drain the grease off um, I've said that before on my channel I always I always drain the grease personal preference um, but if you see back in the corner those um, what am I trying to say? Those um, shells. Um, I got those at the salvage store. Um, if you have not watched my um, grocery haul plus bonus haul video, I'll have it linked in the description box. Um, but I got those at the salvage store. Um, I think those were 50 cents. And they're like, um, you'll see them. They're called foldables. And I made like little pockets and closed it all up and then put it in the um i baked i baked them instead of frying them um but y'all they were freaking awesome i've only bought two packs so i have one more pack in the freezer but i wish i had got more because those were so freaking cool you could do that with like eggs do like a breakfast um foldable one like i i did the ham or the taco meat and cheese y'all they were so cool so stinking cool like, I can't get over them. Like, I've never seen them in the store before um, at all. So, I don't know, like, where they came from. But they had a ton of them there at the salvage store. And, like I said, I should have got more. But, look, is that not amazing? And it made for the perfect little, um, you know, taco pocket. Um, you see me add some sauce on there. That is just a homemade sauce. All it is is some mayonnaise, some milk, and some Taco Bell seasoning. And I just shake it up in that jar. Um, and then I just taste it to see, you know, the taco seasoning, which way, or the Taco Bell sauce, just, you know, how, how you like it. But you, these were so easy to put together and delicious. And then along with this, I've made some homemade instant rice which I've showed many times on my channel but you all will see it again because I've got a bunch of new people
here is my minute rice y'all my husband loves this better than getting like pre-made um, or like the box Mexican style or Spanish style rice so all I do is I take and measure out the amount of instant rice that I need along with the water that calls um, you know for the, that amount and then I just take some salsa and um, I put some salsa in there I honestly don't measure um, but I would say like a half a cup to a little more um, it, like I said it's just gonna depend on the amount of rice that you need and use for your family um, I did take a half of a um, chicken bouillon cube and kind of crushed it up a little bit um, and put that in there I've noticed that when I crush it up it does a lot better since it's a microwavable um, rice instead of putting like a clump because it's you know it's going to take longer to melt down but i just do that so it's water rice chicken bouillon and salsa and that's it it's so good put it in the microwave for the minutes that it says on the back of the box and y'all it's so good and delicious luke loves to add sour cream and cheese to his when it's still warm so it all melts down and y'all oh my gosh For the last meal of this video, I have got a beef roast there. And y'all, I totally just made this up. <laughs> um, as you've seen, I have an Italian packet there. Because I was like, okay, what can I make with this? I really want something good. This was like right before, um, you know, we really started dieting. So I was like, I want something hearty and I want something delicious. And so I ended up not even using that Italian packet. <clears throat> because y'all know if y'all know me you know that i just cook and think and change stuff as i go so i ended up making a chili with this and y'all it was so stinking good i loved it so basic and i'm going to show y'all um how to put it together and it was it was it was so good <laughs> so i just took and like cut up the roast like beef um stew meat and then I seasoned it with that complete seasoning. I did go heavy on the seasoning um, because I'm going to sear it in a hot pan and lock in that flavor. And then I also put some, um, a few dashes of Worcestershire as I was mixing all that seasoning in. And that's also going to help give it some flavor. So I've just put some olive oil in the pan and get that nice and hot for... Um, me i feel like if you use cast iron for this it works way better so once that gets nice and hot you're just going to throw that meat in there and toss it around you're going to sear it try to sear it on all sides this smelled so good cooking <laughs> cooking oh my gosh it was good so we're going to sear this up and then we will come back and i will show you the rest of the ingredients
And now once you've got a nice um, sear on all sides, we're gonna start adding in some more ingredients. I added in two good sized spoonfuls of garlic. We love garlic over here, so y'all do you. Um, I'm just gonna let that cook a little bit before I start um, adding in the rest of the ingredients. Um, I don't want it to be long enough in there where it's gonna burn, um, just enough to help you know fragrance and get that garlic all mixed in. So first I'm gonna add in one can of chili beans. I didn't rinse, I just left them as is and the juices because that's where you're gonna get that chili flavor. And then I also added in a can of red beans and a can of dark kidney beans. Mix that all together. Then I'm gonna add in some tomato sauce. I didn't use the whole can, there was literally maybe a fourth a cup left. And then I'm going to add in a couple cubes of beef bouillon to help it give some more flavor along with some chili powder. A little bit of thyme. Some ground red pepper. And some onion powder. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. I didn't measure. <laughs> I just eyeballed it until, um, you know, it kind of got to the consistency that I like. And then at the end, I add in a couple tablespoons of brown sugar and y'all I feel like that made it like it was the nice sweet heat it was not as hot as Luke's chili which his chili is really hot but delicious um, but it had just the right amount of kick and um, a little bit of sweetness to it it was so delicious so once I got all that mixed together I'm just gonna uh, I don't have a lid for this Dutch oven um, or cast iron pot but I just use aluminum foil and it does, you know, just as good. So I'm gonna wrap the top with aluminum foil and I'm gonna put it in a 250 degree oven for, it was like four, two, it was like three to four hours. You know, you just wanna make sure that your meat's fully cooked through. Then the longer that you cook it, slow cook it, the tender that meat's gonna be and y'all that meat just fell apart so stinking good i feel like i've said this for every single recipe um on this video so stinking good <laughs> so i've checked it about halfway through just making sure that meat's nice and tender and it was it was delicious and then we I just kept it in the oven until it was time you know to serve it because it's not gonna hurt it um, but here is my bowl and then I made some grilled cheese but I hope you enjoy this what's for dinner don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up please comment down below subscribe if you're new Go check out the description box so you can see um, everybody's video. But I will see y'all later. Bye, guys.